awesome hop. Huh, Pierce? Bradley, when will you learn that a hop is not officially awesome until I'm on the dance floor? So why aren't you out there boogieing? The floor is full of boxes. Don't rush me. First, I must find out which lucky lady will have the honor. Ow. Cad, have you selected a worthy partner for me? Yes, a lovely thing who seems to be quite hungry. Hungry? She said she'd have to be out to lunch to dance with you. Out to lunch? <laughs> Man, that cat is a card. I hope your surfboard springs a leak. is that we're the four prettiest girls in the room. Social life around here is the pit. Speak for yourself, girls. I happen to have more dates than I can handle. <sighs> so do I. But my lands, they're always with the wrong boy. Whatever happened to Mr. Rice? He's dancing with Miss Wrong. <laughs> All right, Tara. You said to tell you when I was ready. Well, I'm ready. But Chester, honey, there's a dance going on. I can't wait any longer. I must be alone with you. Now! Well, all right, Chester. If y'all will excuse us. I don't believe it. Chester and Tara are a twosome? Oh, wow. What a juicy hunk of gossip. Oh, don't be silly, Switchboard. Chester is a mere child. Even Tara can't be that desperate. <laughs> Never underestimate the desperation of a girl with an empty dance card. Hmm. I wonder what those two have going. Well, I, for one, intend to find out. You're my kind of woman, Bianca. Good luck. Thank you. Switchboard? Did you just plant a hidden microphone on Bianca? Naturally! How else am I gonna find out what Tara and Chester are up to? How could you? Inquiring minds want to know! I want to thank you, Tara. Not many girls would give up a dance for science. If anyone finds out about this, I'll be the laughing stock of the teen club. It's top secret. How can they possibly find out? Don't lose them, Wilshire. I have a feeling this is going to be very <laughs> juicy. It's probably the most remarkable computer ever made by man. Especially when you consider that the person who made it won't be a man for another ten years. It's positively breathtaking, Chester. How does it work? You see, I've programmed it with the likes and dislikes of each teen club member. I simply enter a girl's code, and it instantly matches her up with the perfect date. And little old me will be the very first to try it? That's right. Believe me, this will transform your entire social life. It will select your perfect, all-time, dynamite date. Why, it sounds absolutely dreamy. What else could a teenager ask for? Except maybe a zit-free complexion. Oh, I'm simply dying to see how it works. That's easily arranged. All we do is insert your code into the computer. Thusly. Now it's scanning its memory bank, searching for a matchup. When it's finished, your dream date will appear on the monitor in living color. Oh, it's Radley! Radley? Bianca, what are you doing here? 
getting my jollies. <laughs> Computer matchups. This has got to be the dumbest invention I've ever seen. It is not dumb. Radley dating Tara? <laughs> don't make me laugh. It's obvious you don't know a thing about computers. But I know everything about boys. And I know any girl can get any boy she wants. And it has nothing to do with microchips. It has to do with this. I couldn't stand like that in a million years. Nonsense, darling. If cavemen could learn to walk erect, so can you. I beg to differ with you, Bianca. Computers don't make mistakes. Really? Would you care to make a wager on that? What sort of a wager? That I can get a date with Radley before little Miss Magnolia Mush. Bianca, you've got a bet. But Chester, I could never get Radley to ask me out. We're totally different. Trust me, Tara. Computers are never wrong. But just in case, buy something slinky. Oh, this is gonna be brutal! It's David versus Goliath! Now, how is a delicate southern flower like myself supposed to get a super jock like Radley to ask me out? I don't know, but if you want to win your bet, you'd better get out there and go after him. Huh? How do you know about the bet? <laughs> Let's say a little switch bird told us. Oh, I am so embarrassed. I could simply shrivel up and die. I don't know why Chester ever made that fool bet. Just look at Radley out there. Wow! He's one heavenly hunk, that's for sure. And me, I trip just walking down the street. But Tara, you can't just give up like that. Locke's right. If a girl wants a boy, she has to show him she's as much a boy as he is. That sounds mighty peculiar to me. Me too, but that's the name of the game. wasting any time. Do I have to? Competing is so unladylike. You'll be dead in the water if you don't. I suppose you're right. All right, I'll do it. The South shall rise again. Radley! With all the air in her head, I'm sure she'll float.
Bianca play. She hasn't missed a shot yet. Follow Go Fury, Bianca. Hot shot. Maybe she'll trip. There's always that possibility. Ah! She didn't trip. Oh, wow. You play a Mondo game of volleyball. For a girl. You're not so bad yourself. For a boy. Okay, Tara, now it's your turn to play Radley. Right. You know what you have to do. I sure do. Change my name, have plastic surgery, and move to another town. Okay, Tara. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Here it comes. <laughs> That is definitely not the way to get a guy. Unless the guy happens to be a paramedic. Oh, I know. Goodbye, cruel world. Come on, Tara. Up you go. we'd hit it off. Bradley's perfect. I'm perfectly dull. I've double-checked my calculations. Trust me, Tara. You two are destined for each other. It looks like destiny took a detour. So tell me, are you going to the Hawaiian Hop Saturday night? Saturday night? Oh, man, that's light years away. I hear it's going to be great. The whole gang's flying over for it. You going? Only if I can get a date. Look at them. Just like two Louisiana lovebirds. I just bet he's getting ready to ask her for a date right now. Tara, haven't you learned not to make bets yet? So, about that Hawaiian hop, who's going to be your date? Gee, I haven't given it much thought. But as long as you're here. Yes, Radley? I hope you don't mind my cutting in, but every girl deserves a special treat. Get ready for the dazzling beat of Pierce's feet. It's so unusual to see them. They're usually in your mouth. <laughs> You've been murdered, old buddy. We need a little privacy. Where are we going? For a boat ride on the lake. You can finish what you were going to ask me under a full moon. Oh, yeah. Tubuloso idea. Hey, Tara. We're going for a ride on Bianca's boat. Want to join us? Uh, no. You two just run along. But thanks anyway for asking. Come on, Radley. We're wasting precious sailing time. Catch you later, Tara. Chanel, I did the right thing, didn't I? 
Of course you did. After all, who wants to watch a shark close in for the kill? I do! Ah. Oh, I wish I had a date for the Hawaiian hop. I just hate to fly alone, don't you? Yeah, it's a real bummer. It's no fun to go scuba diving alone either. And <laughs> what about surfing? Don't forget surfing. You're right. Those sort of things are a lot more fun to do together. You could bring along your surfboard. I'm sure it'll fit in my new eight-passenger turbojet. Yeah, and after the hop, I could rip some curl on the North Shore. Listen, I just got an idea. What about if you and I... Yes? Go ahead, say it. What about if you and I... Hey! It's Tara, and it sounds like she's in trouble. That girl is such a joker. <laughs> now, what were you about to ask me? Help! 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 She really is in trouble. Bradley, wait! Finish what you were saying first. Sorry, Bianca. This can't wait. I'm coming! Men, they haven't an ounce of romance in their souls. <laughs> it's okay, Tara. I've got you now. Bradley, how can I ever thank you? Better not talk. We'll swallow water. Phew. Are you okay? jump in and save me. I can swim, you know. I know, but I was, like, worried about you. About little old me? Uh-huh. Don't you think you should be getting back to Bianca? Bianca? You know, I forgot all about her. Radley! Radley, where are you? Anyway, the whole gang's flying over for the Hawaiian hop. You want to come? Radley! Are you asking me for a date? Yeah, I guess I am. Well, how about it? Well, hush my hush puppies. You have got yourself a date. Whoa! Can you imagine? Three TV stations called Chester already. They want him to host his very own computer dating program. Maybe I could appear as his co-host, just to add a touch of class. Then Chester's computer was right all along. Tara didn't have to be an athlete to get Radley. She just had to be herself. Chester, what happened to you? If you don't mind, I'd rather not discuss it. We were just talking about you and your fantastic matchmaking computer. Forget about the computer. I destroyed this stupid thing. You destroyed it? But why? I put my own code into it in order to find the perfect girl for me. And what happened? It came up with Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> 